Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to edit and upload business process video to use in Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services. The reason I'm putting this video out there, a lot of folks ask me that uh, they wish that they could put a voice when they're doing recording in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2, uh, CU7, or R3. There is no built-in mechanism that it would capture the voice when you're doing recording in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2, but there is a workaround that I'm going to show you. This takes a little bit of effort, but once you get used to it, it's much easier. Uh, up here, there are a few things that we need to do. Number one, we need a video recorder that can record your voice when you're doing uh, a process when you're uh, basically doing the process on uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, 2012 R2 uh, CU7 or R3 and uh, also sometimes you know the uh, you need to edit your video so it would be nice to have a video recorder and editor uh, you can download uh, a video recorder on um, uh, internet there are free versions of video recorder and editor uh, in my case uh, what I'm using is um, no, open broadcaster uh, that's my video recorder so what we're gonna do is basically take this video and uh, up, uh, take it and uh, upload it on Microsoft Dynamics lifecycle services so um, number two add a voice to the video obviously number three replace it with the original video because when you record in advanced mode there is a, a file called recording and I'll show you in a second that um, uh, that gets created when you basically record in Microsoft Dynamics AX uh, 2012 R2, CU7, or R3. And after that, you need to build a package. Um, the four option right here, this fourth option is really very important. If you build your package before you replace your uh, original video with your edited video, this is not going to be uploaded on Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle. Uh, you have to basically replace the video before you build a package. Once the package is built, it is going to take what it was when it was building the package. So keep in mind this is very, very important. You cannot edit basically what you have uploaded it, but you can. Uh, what you can do is basically do the recording again and put your voice in there and upload it. So uh, I hope that this uh, this video really yeah, will help a lot of folks that who wanted to do it that way there are um, majority of the folks they are okay with just uh, you know uh, at recorder in advanced mode in Microsoft Dynamics AXR2 but if you wanted to put a voice this video will help you so let's go ahead and do that this is my Microsoft Dynamics AX2012 R2 client so I'm going to go ahead and click on tools and task recorder I have already done the setting in advanced mode. If you don't know how to do that, please watch my video. I have put two or three videos about the task recorder, how to do the settings and set this up in order to uh, um, do the recording in advanced mode. So what we're gonna go ahead, do that, uh, click on start and it'll start basically uh, recording back behind the scene and it will not record uh, in our, uh, our voice in original video but uh, I'll show you that how to replace with the video that we have made um, in terms of you know replacing it and putting it putting it on lifecycle services so go ahead start do your normal work click yes alright so what we're gonna do is uh, create a new user I'm going I'm in system administration so I'm gonna click on users I'm going to create a new user so click on new user so this is going to be my active directory user so what I'm going to do right here is user ID Kevin as Kevin is my user ID username would be Kevin Scott Make sure that uh, this uh, this user actually exists in your Active Directory. Otherwise, you will get an error when you try to enable that particular user. So, in my case, my network domain is Tech Brothers Local, and alias needs to be matched with the account that you have in Active Directory. So, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, 
and let me see I, I don't remember basically whether it's K Scott or Scott K so we're gonna go ahead and try to enable it if it's K Scott then it won't give me error so it didn't give me error we're gonna go ahead and enable that particular user and after we enable that particular user we're gonna go ahead and click on assign roles and we're gonna go ahead and assign a role called employee to this particular user so we're gonna go ahead and select that role click OK as you can see that this is time registration worker this is an employee so once we're done creating a user we're gonna go ahead and click on file and save once saved you can close this and we're done creating a user in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 R2 so now we can go ahead and stop our video right here is stop once it's stopped we're gonna take a look in our folder and our folder is right here this is the folder that we are saving our recordings so we're gonna go ahead close that close this and let's take a look up here is that particular folder and Tech Brothers that's my framework and that's my industry right here so Tech Brothers underscore Tech Brothers so we're gonna go ahead and take a look what we have so we have a word document called recording and up here is the media Windows media file and if we go back right here the third option is that replace it with your original video so what we're gonna do right now is basically go back here and replace this recording with our recorded videos and then we're gonna go ahead and build the package so I'm going to do that so I just got that video and uh, now what I'm going to do is replace this recording if you notice that this is a media player Windows media player file and this has to be the edited one has to be Windows media player file otherwise it will not upload so I'm not sure that if they have changed that but um, as far as uh, I know that uh, this has to be Windows media player um, audio video file so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and delete this is our um, recording without the voice and this is our recording with the voice so what we're going to do is keep the file name same because everywhere right here all the XML documents the file name that is going to upload on Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services is recording dot uh, up here WMA so we're gonna go ahead and delete this one and rename this one as recording so right here is our file now we're ready to build the package once our package is built you will see that this particular file which is edited and have uh, has the voice it is gonna go ahead and upload on Microsoft Dynamic Lifecycle Services and we're gonna go ahead and build the package now so we're gonna go ahead and click on file go to tools and go to task recorder and this is the task recorder we upload we just did so what we're going to do is click on setting and up here there's an option called build package so we're going to go ahead and build the package as you can see that batch process initiated we're gonna go ahead and close and I'm going to show you real quick if you're sys admin and can see the um, batch processes were up here batch process job you can look at the status of this particular um, package build so we're gonna go ahead and click on bad jobs and we're gonna go ahead this is our current package right here it's waiting so you're gonna go ahead and press F5 to see that it's executing now right here so it's generating the package for us and I'm going to go ahead and pause the video once uh, my video right here that I'm making I'm going to go ahead and pause the video once the 
uh, generation of a, a package is completed then I'll be back and we will see that uh, then we're gonna go ahead and upload it on lifecycle services and see if uh, this workaround works for us all right our package is built so we're ready to go and upload it on Microsoft Dynamics lifecycle services so I'm gonna go ahead and upload it on Microsoft Dynamics lifecycle services <coughs> I'm going to name it and I'm going to click on upload and here is my um, package if you can see right here AXBMP I'm gonna go ahead and upload it once it's uploaded it's gonna tell us the status right here if it's success or if it's failed alright right now the status is in queue so we're gonna go ahead and press F5 and keep checking the status once it's success it should be in our um, library alright as you can see that um, the user process up here that we just uploaded is successful so we're gonna go ahead and go in our library and our library should be there and right here is our user library so what I'm going to do is basically go in this user setup and uh, play that video if you don't hear anything I'm going to go ahead and go on my personal laptop and uh, sign in Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services where I have media player installed so we're gonna go ahead and see that and I'm sure I'm pretty sure that it'll work right here but uh, we're gonna go ahead and play uh, this video and see that if um, we're gonna go ahead and allow that so that it can upload right here so we're gonna go ahead and play this double click and play and I'm gonna stop talking and see if we can hear anything I'm going I'm in system administration so I'm gonna click on users I'm going to create a new user. So click on new user. As you so can, this is going to as you can hear Active that uh, user. this is the so the voice what I'm recorded going to do right here. So is user ID. So basically, this is Kevin. it. This is how you edit the video. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Yes, double Kevin click is my and stop this video. So this is basically it. This is how you edit your video. You add it, add your voice to it, and uh, go ahead and upload on Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services. And I hope this video helps.